go back as far as Shepard. It was not clear that somebody like Shepard would be able to succeed in Republican primaries. Then you have Owen Rogers who didn't come up through that. This time around, signs of a growing division within the conservative movement on social issues, and we've seen the proof, clearly benefits Owen Rogers' party with their extremely strong anti-gay agenda, bringing them a lot of new votes. Only last month, they've gone... Don't let him win. Hi there. Hi. My car broke down. Yeah, not a good place to have car trouble. Don't I know it. It's just my luck. Do you know how far it is to the next city? I guess at least an hour worth of driving. Well, uh, do you mind some company? Just to the next city? No. No, I guess not. Great. You want me to roll the window up? Yes, please. It's freezing. Yeah. Right. It got cold early this winter. Yes. It did. Do you mind? I'm a little bit sensitive to cigarette smoke. Oh. Sure. No problem. So, um, what's your story? My story? I don't know. I just kind of ended up here. Are you traveling alone? I usually do. Someone like you shouldn't have trouble finding company. found you? Or you found me? So, um, what's your story? Where you uh, heading? I'm gonna see someone. Someone special? Yes, he used to be. But I'm not sure anymore. What went wrong? I'm sorry, I don't know about these things. I've never been in a real uh, relationship myself. We're just two strangers in a car. We probably won't see each other again. <laughs> Sometimes, you just need someone to listen. Well, I don't know where to start. Um, it's complicated. Things, they happen for a reason. Maybe it was for the better. Well, the reason was his father. It had nothing to do with us. We had everything and it was perfect. <laughs> if 
it didn't work out between us because we grew apart, maybe then it could have been for the better. I could let it go in a heartbeat, but knowing that his father is the reason is what bugs me. Isn't his own man? Couldn't he just tell his father? That no, he... no, you don't understand. His father is Owen Rogers. The Conservative Party leader. Haven't you heard of him? Uh, no. I... I haven't. Christ, I can't believe how people actually <laughs> vote for him. Rednick backwards. They hate people like us here. I'm sorry, this has been going through my head for the last couple of hours. No, no, I, I understand. In a perfect world, you would have had Anton for yourself, and none of this would. <laughs> Anton? I never told you his name. Oh, Rogers warned me. Did he hire you? It's not that far to the next city. It's still a while left. What's gonna happen now? You said people like us before. What did you mean by that? Nothing. There are spruces, Christmas trees. Haven't you had one of those home for Christmas? Nope. 
Look, I wasn't gonna try to get Anton to run away with me or anything. I just wanted to see him one last time. He never even answered his phone. There was nothing. Just, just that phone call. Anton doesn't want to see you anymore. Don't try to contact him or else there will be consequences. I wouldn't even have to talk to him. I just want to see his face one last time. I just wanted to end properly, I swear. I believe you. I fell for the wrong guy. You ever fallen for the wrong guy? None of that seems important now. Should have just let him go. Have you killed anyone? What's it like? Why? To, uh, strangers in a car. Sometimes you need someone to listen. Please tell me. With the last guy, I felt nothing. Except the Adrenaline kick and the relief when it was done. I had to shoot him on an open street. And afterwards I ran and tripped. So my heart was beating pretty fast. First time. My heart was beating so fast I thought it was going to break out of my chest. I was sweating and shaking. My hands couldn't stop shaking for hours. When I did the next one, it was easier. I just stood there. Thinking about what I had to do, and all of a sudden I was doing it, and I was stabbing him. Like I stepped out of my body and watched myself. Time after that was almost just instinct. They stick with you? All these people on your conscience? 
No, I don't think about it. There was this one time. I stopped thinking rationally and made a mistake. I was... Uh, Crushing a guy's neck in a car door. And his eyes and tongue were coming out of his head. And for some reason I just couldn't leave him looking like that. So I tried to close his eyes and stick his tongue back into his mouth. But his face was stuck like that. His face was beautiful before and I felt a shame for making him ugly. Would you consider me beautiful? I have an occurring dream. It's the only nightmare I can remember. I'm holding a key to my house when I was a kid. And I'm in this old derelict warehouse. And it's cold. I'm always walking in these empty corridors. I'm always looking for something, but I'm never sure what I'm looking for. But I recognize that it's the same dream. And I can't change what is happening. On one side, on one of the corridors, is a prison cell with rusty bars. And inside that cell are two men. They're about 30. But it's so hard to tell because they're, they're so worn down and malnourished. So I, I take out my key to unlock the cell, but it doesn't fit. And I feel so sorry for them starving there. And then all of a sudden, I have a, a, ch a chunk of meat in my hand. And I throw it in. And the lad's in the dirt. And they both just watch it. But then they start fighting over it. I want to tell them to calm down and share, but no words are coming out of my mouth. And then one of them 
gets on top of the other one and he starts beating him over and over and over till, till there's nothing left to beat. And then he looks at me. And somehow I feel it's, it's all my fault. And I can't move. He just keeps staring at me. And That's when I always wake up. I wonder what that means. Sounds like it has something to do with guilt. So we both have bad dreams. Yes, we have. My pretty friend. Things are what they are. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen now. But I want you to think carefully about what you're doing. I think you'll make a big mistake if you don't think about what you're doing. Deep down, I think you have something good that wants to come out. You won't let it. What do you want me to say? Say you won't kill anyone. You're really that innocent, aren't you? Are you all bad? Yes, I am. I think you're lonely. Look, how can you maintain a relationship with another person? when you see death all the time. I am too old to change. No, no. You just need to let new people into your life. New people? I should let you into my life.